First, our coverage begins with an issue facing people on both sides of the state line, unemployment. More than 80,000 people in Alabama filed for unemployment benefits at the end of last month. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson is investigating why many still have not received their checks. Rachel. Andrew, I'm told the official unemployment rate in Alabama is 2.7%, but that's from February. It skyrocketed within the past two weeks, and many desperate people need money now. Really only telling how many people has filed, but they're not letting us know when we could even think about receiving them. Gina Bowman filed for unemployment last month. With funds running low, she's left wondering when she'll finally receive benefits during this COVID-19 pandemic. All of these weeks so far, you know, we're not getting any money and we don't know what to tell our creditors at this point. She's just one out of thousands still waiting for answers. Here is the breakdown of local people who filed for unemployment in the last full week of March. More than 4,500 in Baldwin County, more than 7,000 in Mobile County, 170 in Clark County, 117 in Conecuh County, 229 in Monroe County, 100 in Washington County, and 287 in Escambia County, Alabama. It, uh, it's crucial. State Senator Chris Elliott spoke to the governor's office this morning. He says the state is moving people around to get claims paid faster. Understand that this is a very stressful time for folks that are applying for unemployment. Know that the governor's office um, and the Department of Labor are working very, very hard to process uh, more claims than anyone would have ever imagined um, them having to process. It's not only a problem here in Alabama, but in Florida as well. Pensacola resident Rick Chelico says he's having trouble filing a claim and hasn't been able to get a hold of anyone in the state office. Florida residents deserve better and we deserve answers. We just, you know, we pay our taxes and this is dire situation that needs to be handled. Both states are urging the public to be patient. We have a list of how you can speed up the process as well as contact numbers on our website at mybc15.com. Reporting live in Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.